Good morning, student. Today we are going to discuss about the difference between tetrahedral wires and octahedral wires. So, what do you mean wires? Wires is nothing but the free phase between the atom in a crystals. Here, the tetrahedral wires means the free phase or vacant phase between four atoms is called a tetrahedral wires. Uh, the free phase or vacant phase present between the six atoms is called a octahedral wires. Here you can see this is the three atoms. <coughs> this three atom present in the one layer. We place a second layer on the top of the first layers. Here there is a some back and face between this first layer and the second layers. Okay. This this the, this whites is called a tetrahedral whites. Okay. Here this is the first layer, layer A. This is the layer B. There is a some gap or vacant phase or free phase between these four atoms. Okay, it is called a tetrahedral wires. Okay. So the free phase or vacant phase or uh, empty phase present between four atoms is called a tetrahedral wires. So the octahedral wires means the free phase or vacant phase present between six atoms between six atoms is called a octahedral wires here you can see this is a one three atom in the lower layer this is a layer a we place the second layer in the depression between the first layers so there is a some gap or there is a some free phase between these two layers okay this type of wires is called a octahedral wires so octahedral wires are nothing but the empty phase or free phase uh, which is present between the six atoms okay it is called a octahedral wires here three spheres in the one layer or three spheres present in the upper layers okay here there is a some gap between these six atoms it is called a octahedral wires here we can draw this this is the layer A, this is the layer A, so in which like we place a second layer on the top of this layer, so we get tetrahedral wires. So tetrahedral wires are nothing but the free phase which is present between the four, four atoms. Octahedral wires means the free phase between they are back and phase uh, between six atoms is called a octahedral wires three layer in the uh, three sphere in the layer a three sphere in the layer b This is the layer A. This is the layer B. Here also this is a layer A. This is a layer B. Here the number of tetrahedral wire generated is equal to 2n. Here the number of octahedral wire generated is equal to n. So the tetrahedral wires consists of four spheres. Okay, three in the lower lower layer and one in the upper layer. In octahedral wires, it consists of six spheres, three in the lower layer and three in the upper layer. So when we connect this uh, in tetrahedral wires, when we connect these four spheres uh, in tetrahedral wires, when we connect the center of these four spheres. It forms a tetrahedron. It forms a tetrahedron. So we connect the center of the four spheres. It forms a tetrahedron. So in this way, it forms a tetrahedron. So when we connect the six spheres center of the six spheres 
it forms a octahedron it forms a octahedron here spores appear on the one layer one above and one below so it, it gives octahedral forms So this is the difference between tetrahedral wires and octahedral wires. Thank you student. I hope you understand this. Thank you.